very expensive cape. You know, if you spent that much money on fabric, you might as well wear it. So yes, I actually purchased fabric that I'm pretty sure is like identical to Umissima type fabric. It's called Super Organza, not Umissima, but it has the qualities of Umissima and it is stunning. The ordering process for this Super Organza Umissima type fabric was quite the process. I think it was like October 16th or something like that. I think that's what the email said that I was like, yes, finally, I am going to buy this amount. And I sent the wire transfer. And of course I made sure that they were a real company and that wasn't going to be fraud and like lose a bunch of money. I confirmed all that stuff, but I sent the wire transfer and then it didn't go through. And then I did it again and it didn't get through, go through. I did it again and it didn't go through, I did it again, and so on and so forth. It was a huge headache to get this money transferred to this company that they said they had never had any issues with Americans transferring money to them there in Japan. But apparently it was all my problem or whatever. So it took forever, like exactly one month to finally get the money to them and they finally were able to ship out the fabric. So a month of all that, like, yay, it's finally coming. But then it got in customs and got stuck there for about a week. And then it got delivered a few thousand miles away from where I live at my brother's place in Florida. So I was down in Florida for a major part of November and the fabric was expected to be delivered the early part of my stay there. And so it was like, well, even if it gets delayed some, I'm still gonna be down there. And then I can make this video while I'm down there and that'd be great. A day after I left Florida, it got delivered down there in Florida. So a shipping label had to get put on that package and then get sent up to me in Arkansas. And I finally got my hands on this fabric. And Thank you to every single one of you who helped buy this fabric by purchasing my patterns, swag, or becoming patrons, or some of you even paypal me money. It's incredible and I would not have purchased this fabric without all of you guys doing that. It's amazing. The fabric is perfect. Like, if anything, it's the exact same thing as Umissima. I mean, it's... It's sheer, it's lightweight, like extremely lightweight. It has a gorgeous shimmer, like shine shimmer, not iridescence, a shimmer. And the drape is soft and just, it's perfect. And no, this is not slow motion footage. This is just the amazingness of the fabric.
This is the most expensive fabric I have ever bought and it is the most amazing fabric that I have ever beheld. It's like <laughs> worth every single penny and seeing this fabric in person makes the Cinderella ball gown absolutely make sense. Like if you have ever looked at the video of Cinderella's ball gown moving, how do you make fabric move like that? How do you just all of that? This is the answer. This is the answer. This is the only thing, well, not only, but a huge part that makes the Cinderella dress the Cinderella dress. I mean, literally seeing this in person, you really have to see it in person, feel it in person to fully appreciate its amazingness. <laughs> um, yeah, craziness. But a little quiz for you guys down there. I'll release the answer at the end of this video, but how many yards or meters do you think is in, let me bunch it all up, this little thing bunch. It's like super lightweight, but it just floats. It's amazing. How many meters and yards is in this? And this one, they're actually both the same, but so let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's talk a little bit more about what qualities Umissima has, because I felt like reading the comments on all my breakdown videos, there was some confusion as to what aspects Umissima has. And I also got a lot of comments about, well, this would be the perfect um, substitute for Umissima, like don't spend that much money, use this substitute, it'll be perfect kind of comments. And I appreciate those absolutely at all. Like no offense in this part of the video to you guys. It just seeing this in person, I now know there is really no substitute to Umissima. It's like one of a kind. And even though this technically is a substitute, it's super aganza and not Umissima. I am like 99% sure that this is the same type of fabric. Like it's the same, like, I don't know, everything. But there, let's talk a little bit about Umissima. So if you watched my breakdown video, and even if you didn't, I'll quickly break it down. The Cinderella dress is made out of three layers of fabric. The very top layer is silk crepe line. It's very similar to silk organza, just a little more soft. It has a slightly softer, drape and just feel. So that's crepe line. And then there's two layers of Umissima. And then there's actually a fourth layer that is iridescent nylon. So iridescent nylon is not the same thing as Umissima. The iridescent is iridescent and in the ball gown, it's white kind of with that iridescent shine. But then on top of that, there's the two Umissima layers. And so Umissima layers are these two layers here that are pointed out. One of them is lilac and the other is a turquoise teal color, AKA these two colors that I bought. So there are four characteristics of Umissima that this super organza has. And if you're looking for a substitute, you most definitely will either compromise on one or two of those characteristics. You're not going to find all four of them in a cheap fabric. It's just, I, spent way too many hours trying to find a cheap alternative. And yes, you can find some close, but nothing is going to be like really good because it's there's a reason why it's expensive. So first of all, it is polyester. This is not silk, which is crazy with how much I spent on it. And it's not being like a high quality fiber. It's polyester, which is kind of weird, but there is a reason for that. that I fully believe is the shimmer that it has. I mean, if this was a silk fabric, you might have that shine, but this has like an amazing shimmer shine to it. It just, I, I just don't think I've seen a fabric that is the same. <laughs> so it's polyester. It is ultra sheer. Like it is very sheer. Like you can hardly tell it's there. That's how sheer it is. You then have ultra weightlessness, kind of. Like, it's floats. That's what the most important 
characteristic is, I think, is the weightlessness of it. It, this fabric particularly, only weighs five grams per meter. Now I'm not going to translate that to ounces per yard because that would just be a mouthful of numbers. Five grams is the weight of a sugar cube. So if you have felt a sugar cube before, that's how much one meter of this weighs. And my light just went out. Super, super, super lightweight. So that's a huge quality of it that makes it just float. Sandy Powell and Jane Law talked a ton about how much the fabric just floats. It looks like a watercolor. It just like floats there. And so that is why I think this fabric is basically umissima or incredibly similar. And because it has that quality and it's, it's incredible. So we've got the shimmer, ultra sheer, ultra lightweight, and then we've got another quality. It has an incredibly soft drape. You can see that there's not, it's slightly crisp, but it's just, it's not really, it's not like an organza or anything like that. It's just very, it has a very soft drape. So those are the four qualities, plus it being polyester, that Umissima and Super Organza have. I, again, I can't confirm that Umissima is the same as this, but with how it looks, with how it feels, it, it's basically the same in my opinion. Now, you might have noticed that I haven't really said how much I spent on this. One of the main reasons is the company that I bought it from specifically asked me not to share the quote that I received. I was so excited about that they actually seem to carry a fabric that might, you know, be the right thing and was less than $150 a yard because at that point I wasn't finding anything except for like $150 a yard. But the B&J fabric, I got swatches from them and after receiving the swatches, I realized that paying that money would not be worth the money. It said that it weighed 17 grams per meter. As you can see, that's over three times the weight of this fabric. And you can definitely tell when getting the swatch. So I got two swatches. I, they call it onion skin organza. I got the iridescent and then just the not iridescent type. The iridescent is like $130 a yard, whereas the not iridescence is about $80 a yard, I think. But here are the two swatches. These are more expensive than this fabric, but it's easily accessible. I got these swatches within like five days and you would do the same like any other fabric purchase online. But I don't really actually see the iridescence in this one. I would say it has like a very like similar shimmer to this one and but this is like double the price of this one. So, so being 17 grams per meter is fairly lightweight for pretty much any organza ever. It's lightweight, but not as lightweight as this stuff. It has a great shimmer. It is pretty sheer. I mean, let's like compare the two. So it's a slightly darker color, but I would say, I mean, this sheer factor is pretty good. This one's, I think, more sheer, but so it's got the sheer, it's got the shimmer, it's got it's fairly lightweight. The one thing I would say it does not have is it's not, it doesn't have a great drape. It's, it's a little stiffer, like you would think of an organza. It's, I would say, softer than most organzas, but it's definitely not as soft drape as this one. This is, wow, they didn't give the name. It's from a UK company and it's called Glass Organza. I had some commenters mention it. They said, especially in the UK, they found that the Glass Organza has a really lightweight factor to it and it also has a great shimmer. And so I decided to get a swatch from them. I was not super impressed. This is about $35 a yard. I think they were selling it for when I first contacted him. He said, well, we don't have a weight on the fabric, but it's super lightweight and it's incredible. After seeing this stuff, this is like nothing compared to it, but um, I would say it's probably about 20 grams a meter, just based on the 17 grams a meter from BJ and BJ, B and J fabrics, and then the five grams. It has the shimmer. 
it has got the sheer i it's thicker so i would say it's not as sheer as this stuff um, again it's it's a darker color so that kind of affects that it doesn't have a soft drape but it is polyester so we're getting a little downhill as we go cheaper which is to be expected in reality so now let's go on to a silk option that is somewhat more reasonable as a substitute i guess you could say i actually used it for my upgraded versions of my cinderella dress and that's silk gauze so as you can see it has a great drape to it it's a very soft drape i would say it has a very similar drape to this one thing it does not have is it does not have the shimmer aspect of it it's just pretty matte it gets even more matte once you dye it i have dyed a lot of it and it just it doesn't keep any shine to it and so that would i would say the disadvantage of that and then with the weight of it i would say it's probably around 15 grams a meter i'm not certain about that but just the way it feels it has a great drape of course now another disadvantage to this one is it likes to stick to things so when i had several layers of this together they all kind of stuck together and they didn't move as nicely as one layer of it so if you use this as a substitute i'd recommend either only doing one layer or putting like one layer in between like polyester layers so it kind of moves with the polyester if that makes sense because i think that's the main thing that makes this just move so beautifully is it kind of just slips around it slips on all the other fabrics and so it has kind of a mind of its own so anyway i hope you enjoyed this somewhat hopefully educational video about umissima type fabric and um, how amazing it is and i probably am tempting you to bury yourself in it I should probably end this video so you guys don't get more and more tempted by this beautiful fabric. I'm tempting myself. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a little bit and Merry Christmas. It's December and that's amazing. I love Christmas. It's an amazing time of year and I have some projects coming your way related to Christmas. So I almost forgot to let you guys know how many yards was each in that bunch of fabric I was holding up. So there are 15 meters of each color. So the blue is 15 meters and of the lilac, there's 15 meters. Bravo to all of you who guessed around that amount, but it's kind of crazy when you think about how many yardage is in that small amount of fabric. It looks a little bigger when it's all like expanded and open, but when I first opened the box, they are very flat and folded. And it was crazy to think that there's that many meters of fabric in that little tiny fold of fabric. Thanks for watching. See you next time.